What's the chat and Charles? That's uh, Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Craftsman Challenge on yet another No Pokemon Monday. And in the last episode, we made a shop. We have now got this nice shop here at Oak... Uh, what is this place called? This is Oak's Alcove, and this is going to be our brand new shop where we are going to sell all of our furniture that we've collected from the woodworking table and of course from uh, various dumpster divings as well so hopefully that should get some decent money and then we can I don't know buy an oven also uh, hopefully help uh, build more materials around the house and uh, get better at uh, cr uh, get better at making things and then that'll be perfect so that is the plan let's do it the shop is open so people can now start coming into the shop and looking at uh, uh, my wares and I have added a few more sims uh, to the uh, I've added a few more sims to my uh, uh, to my neighborhood so for example this if uh, if you guys remember back in the really old days of uh, back in the really old days this uh, of uh, this channel we had a sims 4 lp it was basically uh, just a simple uh, sims 4 lp nothing like rags to riches or anything like that but it's just a simple uh, just a simple normal uh, sims 4 lp and i had three sims on there i had joseph my sim i uh, got a sim i got married to one of the uh, neighborhood sims and i also and we had a kid this is ember that we uh, had she is now uh, in this version of her this is not the actual official version of her from this but she this is this version of her from this save file is a fully grown adult she is married and she is also living uh, in the neighborhood somewhere so we uh, from time to time we will visit her from, uh, but also they will want to buy stuff from us hopefully if that is the case Dag. so let's greet all the customers Ninja. let's oh. retail so. or ask some questions uh, we'll ask about price range we'll discuss shopping preferences and we'll try and get these people to actually purchase things. They'll probably end up wanting to purchase stuff without us having to, like, do this, like, eventually. So that would be pretty cool. But, like, we don't actually have those abilities just yet. I can view the... I can view the finances of the shop. We don't actually have finances yet because we haven't bought anything. But the thing I would like, uh, there's certain obvious perk pools that we can uh, get and if we can get them that would be fantastic. Uh, so if we can get some of these perks that would be great. Uh, we d sure sale would be nice. Uh, faster checkouting, serious shoppers, that would be pretty cool. Um, is there anything else we actually need? Register tomorrow, maybe? Uh, no, I think those are the per. I think, like, soon's just like. Uh, just try anything we can do to make these sims actually want to buy my stuff more. That's what we need. Uh, 
Answer the questions. Uh, well, no, no, I don't want to ask. I don't want to ask him to leave. Then a customer. Ask about price range. I guess you can go to sleep if you want, because we just need to get these sim. We need to get these sims buying things. So if you want, I've I've. I've unpacked the bed uh, from the infantry, so we can uh, uh, we can uh, basically do that. Everyone but household members. Shop. Anyone want to buy any of my stuff? <laughs> buy my stuff? Please buy my stuff? Oh, we do. We have a sale. Ring up customer. Play. What's he buying? What's he buying? I want to see what he's going to buy. He bought a sink! Oh, he bought a sink for a grand! That is awesome! Uh, Remove sign. Okay. Right. You can go back to sleep now. And wait and see if someone else is going to buy my stuff. So let's play the waiting game. Ah, yeah, super fast waiting game. Anyone won't buy my stuff? Buy my stuff? No? Oh wait, we do. Pause. We have a sale. Get up. We have a sale. We have a sale. Get up. There we go. You're going to build... you going to buy one of my bathtubs? That'd be cool if you did. Please do. Please buy one of my bathtubs. Oh, yes. He bought one of my bathtubs. For 1,230. Nice. I will take that. Removes the sign. We don't need that anymore. And back to bed. Uh, go to work. When is... When do you work from? Oh, you work for nine. go to work I think we might have to close the shop because they both need to work so yeah you know what I'm gonna do that for the moment in time I'm gonna close the store Ok, 
okay. Good first day. We're open for seven hours. And we got two and a half grand. Uh, well, two and a quarter grand. I'll take that. Right. You don't have to go home, but you not you can't be here anymore. So go away, all of you. There we go. Right. And I mean, if you want to, if you want to eat the cheese crackers, you can do. When do you work? You work at nine, so you work in like fifteen minutes too. Alright. Can I tell you to take care of your needs? See if you'll actually go and uh, have a shower before you go to work. Alice off to work. And you're going to go to work as... Go to work. Go be a teacher. And it will take us home because we are not on our home lot. Okie dokie. That is... It's a rather good day. You are home and you've bought 700... Uh, you've bought home 700 stuff. That's uh, 700 money. You can probably go to bed. Green Initiatives is in. Nice. Because of the community vote for Green Initiatives in the Port Promise, these docks are about to get a lot greener. With in course uh, next week, residents will see more and more bushes and trees sprouting up throughout the area. Nice. And Al is home. Can you go and have a shower, please? Go and have a shower. Go and do it. No, I don't want to go out. I don't want to go to Tina's house and uh, and hang out. I want to go and have a shower. So you're going to do that. And then watch TV. Because you need to have fun. I know you don't like going to work. Because, but it's... You're not actually going to work, you know, you, we need to get you, like, to a certain level. You know, we're not here to earn money, we're here to get you to basically do your job, and then once you've done your job, we can stop asking you to do your job. Once we've got, uh, once we've done the thing, Once we've got enough points for him to, you know, we've got enough up the ladder for him to be able to craft uh, the uh, the gun, uh, the gun that we can do it, uh, that can get rid of burnt things, then we can quit immediately. Can you? Can I interv? I'm supposed to interview uh, people. How does one 
do this interviewing thing. Interview a homer. Oh, oh. Go away. I need a homeowner. Which clearly means I need an adult. You. Talk to this person. Talk to this per Talk to Emmett. Yeah, talk to Emmett if you can. Yeah, he's coming. He's coming over here. Cool. Because I need to. No, no, no. Talk to him. Must have timed out. Right. I now know you. And. Can I interview you about utilities? How does one do this? Uh, can I discuss your stressed mood? Can I offer a joke maybe? Uh, can I ask to hang out? Uh, will brighten your day. Discuss interests. I guess I gotta get to know this person a bit before I interview them and ask them about their utilities. Emphasize about city planning. Do all those things. There you go. Calm down. Stop being so tense. I'm a joke. We can. I can give relationship advice since I'm flirty. I can ask about day. Give repair tips. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Come. Back here, I need to interview you. I need to interview you about your utility use, and I am not sure exactly how to do that. You've got to be a homeowner, so you should be able to do. I should be able to talk to you about this interview. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Emmett isn't impressed by your interview technique. Al gets told in an uncertain terms it's none of their business. Oh, I mean, I got an answer. It's not the answer. I'm pretty sure it's not the answer that's going to get me a promotion, but it's an answer. And um, maybe if I, I don't know. Are you going? Come back here. There we go. Now, ask about day. Maybe I have to get them to be, uh, you know, have a better relationship with me. I need to wait a while to do this again. Oh, I can't do it now. Oh, okay, never mind then. 
I'm done with you. I'm done with you. You go away now. Can't do it again right now, so I have to. I guess I'll have to uh, go to the toilet. Get some leftovers. And go to sleep. Oh, hang on. Oh boy. Um Marvelous Mermaid L O L uh would like to purchase your cr uh crafted elephant. Nice on Fopsy. If you agree to the sale. Right. Let me read this again. If you agree to the sale uh the sale of the item uh from okay, sorry. So I need to go to my info tree. Okay, now we can see that this item is uh ready for sale and I can I can ship it. Alright, do it. Wash your hands, there we go. See, there's still a few things I need to do. I'd like to have a few more chairs in this place. I would like to have a couple more cabinets. I'd like to have an oven. Uh, this desk needs a chair. There we go. We just made 50 quid. Not bad. It's not as much as uh, Linda's been making in the shop, but it'll do. It'll do. It's all it's all money and it'll do. Eat the animal crackers, please. We plop seed. Nice. No, I'm gonna buy an o I'm gonna buy an oven. I'm gonna buy an oven until we can actually afford. Uh, until we can actually afford. Uh, until we can actually get stuff like this. I will. You know, I'm gonna allow it. I'm gonna allow myself to be able to buy an oven. Because like, I gotta find. If I find one, I'll. I'll sell it immediately. Okay. And I won't put it in the shop because it's not mine. I'll just sell it in buy mode. Okay? And we'll and whatever we get for it, I'll empty the uh, wallet. So I know that this is four hundred pounds. Okay? So I know this often it is four hundred pounds. I will empt when we get when we get our own oven from doing the uh, thing, we'll sort that out, okay? We'll sell it and then we'll empty the wallet of that money so we don't actually have that money, okay? I will buy a thermostat and stuff like that because I know that thing, if you buy the cheap stuff, it basically will break and possibly set fire to the place. So I'm not doing that. But this is until we can get an oven of our own. Hopefully. That'll actually happen over the next couple of days. And then we'll be able to 
half our oven and it'll be cool. I mean, we saw that uh, there is supposed to be some kind of like Aurora Borealis uh, it's supposed to be happening through the area if if we can get it, if we can like do enough green materials. Oh, my advertising camp it. Really? It only lasts about a day? Wow, that is, that is a small advertising campaign. It's very bad actually, but... That's actually really bad. I didn't realize how slow the advertising campaign was going to be. Are you? It's it's a bit laggy. Is this that? I it's gone a bit laggy. I think what I'm going to do. Can I? I need to reset him because it's gone a bit laggy. Okay, I'll let you go to bed. The game's gone a bit laggy, and I'm not. I'm not happy. I'm not entirely happy about this, but like I'm trying to. F I need to try and figure out what we can do about this. And I know you have a sore back. F I know you have a sore back from the uh, bed, from the cheap bed, but like there's not really much I can do. This is the craftsman challenge. When uh, when Al's handiness is up will be able to do stuff. Right now, you're only level... Al is only level 2 in handiness. So, yeah, it's not fantastic. You know what? I'm going to get everyone's knee... I'm going to end this episode here. Should, should I? Yeah, we'll end this episode here. We haven't really done too much other than the shop... Uh, you know, sold a few things on the ep uh, in the shop. Uh, what we're going to do in the next episode is basically just keep on doing, uh, you know, keep on doing what we're doing until uh, Al is uh, leveled up enough to get that uh, to get that burn thing. We'll be uh, just keep on doing this, keep on work, get him to go to work, get him in the right situations for him to get promoted, get him in the right mood to get promoted. Um, We'll be doing the exact same with Linda here. We'll also be selling all of our things in the shops. I know we're not making a lot of progress when it comes to the Craftsman Challenge at this moment in time, but that's not, you know, if we're working towards our next milestone, okay? Once we're able to build more stuff, it'll be better. But until next time, I am Lancer and Joe. You have been watching an episode of the Sims 4 Craftsman Challenge, and I will see you on the next one. Till then, good night! Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first when those videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me, Joe, and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you're a fan of this sort of thing, then you might like Power Zone Metal, a radio show presented by me and my brother Dan, aka the Gentleman of Metal. You can find out more information about that on powerzonemetal.uk. And of course, if you want to watch more videos, you can watch them by clicking in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. And of course, until next time, from me, Joe, and from the rest of the Lantern Nation, we'll see you again.